Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate connection requests on LinkedIn using Socinator. This feature will help to automate sending connection requests on LinkedIn. With this, you can easily search and target LinkedIn users and connect with them. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your LinkedIn account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the account configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on LinkedIn through Socinator. Let's select connection request. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to connect with a number of people within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for connection request activity. Let's begin with the first one, search query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted users to connect with. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search the user. We can select the Query Type by clicking the drop-down button. Once you have selected your Query Type, enter the query either manually by typing in this area or you may click this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file and click Open. When you're done, click the Add Queries to the List button and it will be added to the Queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For Keyword, we can enter words related to the profiles we want to target. Let's say Web Developer, for example. Type in this area and click Add and it's added in the queries list over here. This will target LinkedIn profiles containing this keyword. For email, we need a specific LinkedIn email address. So let's say you have copied and pasted the email address here. Click Add, and it will target the user who owns that email address. Next, we have profile URL. We need a specific LinkedIn profile for this one. Let's say this LinkedIn profile, for example, copy the profile URL here and paste it in the query box. Click Add, and this will target this specific LinkedIn account. Next, we have Search URL. For this one, we need to search something on LinkedIn. Let's say we searched for web developer. Make sure you click People because we're targeting LinkedIn users. Then copy the search URL here paste it in the query box and click add and this will target the users who appeared in that search result finally we have sales navigator user scraper campaign this depends on the sales navigator users you have scraped using the sales navigator user scraper campaign simply copy the campaign id of your chosen user paste it in the query box and click add you can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete the query from the list, simply click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. Let's say keyword for example. Click it and it's gone. The next tool is input personal note. When inviting members to connect, you can add a personalized message to the recipient to introduce yourself or add context to your relationship. So click Add Personal Note. Here you can create your message. If you hover on spin tags, you can see the format. So you can add several messages, each separated by that symbol. For example, hey, separate with a symbol, hello, separate with a symbol, hi, for example, then close parenthesis. If you check spin tags, then Socinator will randomly select any of these messages. You may also tag LinkedIn users by clicking Tag if you want to attach users in your message. Here you can click the Clear All button and it's gone. You may also click this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file, let's say Message for example. Click Open and it's uploaded successfully. Click Save when you're done. Personal notes are not applicable for the email query type. The next configuration category is Job Configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should send connection requests. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use. 
like slow with an average daily activities of 25, medium with 125, fast with 208, or super fast with 333. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each connection request. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause. After sending the number of connection requests you set, in number of connection requests per job. Number of connection requests per job will allow you to specify the number of LinkedIn users you want to connect with per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of LinkedIn users to connect with per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of max connection requests per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep sending connection requests even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on, let's say, Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day. Let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Click add interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite. Let's call it LinkedIn Connect. Click save. We can then open it by clicking select favorite time and choosing LinkedIn Connect. The next tool is user filters. This allows us to filter the LinkedIn accounts we want to connect with. Check the first one if you want to connect with those who have profile pictures. Check the second one if you want to target those who have at least 500 connections. Check the third one if you want to target those who have enabled advanced bio and skills. The next one will allow us to specify the minimum number of characters in the bio of the users you want to target. Next, we have must contain specific words. These are the words that should be in the bio description of the users you want to target. Let's say you want to target expert, for example. Type in this area. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file, select the right file and click open. When you're done, click save. The next one is the opposite of the previous one, must not contain specific words. So these are the words that should not be in the bio description of the users you want to target. So let's say you don't want to target fresh graduate, for example. Type in this area. Again, you may clear or import using these buttons and click save when you're done. The next one will allow you to specify the minimum number of skills. So let's say at least five. Then check the following if you want to target those who have experience and education details. Again, user filters are not applicable for the email query type. Next, we have other configurations. Check the first one if you want unique operations. And check the second one if you want to enable auto withdraw connection request, depending on the specifications that you set. So the first one is when reaching 3,500 to 4,000 pending connection requests. We also have when the connection request tool gets temporarily blocked. And the last one will allow you to specify when to start withdraw connection request tool. So let's say between 30 to 60 minutes after. The last category is manage blacklisted users. Blacklisted users are the LinkedIn accounts you do not want Socinator to interact with. In this case, Socinator will not send connection requests to blacklisted users when this box is checked. So this can either be a private blacklist, which belongs to a specific LinkedIn account, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start sending connection requests on LinkedIn, let's scroll up and click Save. Success. After saving, let's click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating connection requests on LinkedIn through Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app 
and click the social drop down button and select LinkedIn. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to the grow connection tab and select connection request on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it LinkedIn connection request. Under search query, let's use keyword for our query type and web developer for our query. Type it and click add and it's successfully added. For input personal note, let's use the same note from earlier. So let's import from CSVR text file, select message, for example, click open and check spin tax. And Socinator will randomly select any of these messages. Click save when you're done. For job configuration, let's select slow. For user filters, let's target those who have profile pictures, at least 500 connections, experience details, and education details. For other configurations, it's up to you. And let's skip blacklisted users, private blacklist. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple LinkedIn accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, click your account and the save button. This will automatically bring us to the Campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our LinkedIn Connection Request campaign. Click the Status button to pause the campaign and the Action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.